This is big news, friends. Inflation relief checks have been approved by top lawmakers in Congress. This new round of stimulus payments will be worth billions of dollars in crisis relief funds. The Biden administration has agreed to allocate more money towards the next stimulus package. So, friends, please make sure you watch until the end of this video for all of the details. Also, I will be giving away a $75 Walmart gift card every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Sundays. To enter the giveaways, all you have to do is click and like several of my videos and then comment below the keyword of each video that you watch. The more often you comment below a keyword on a video, the greater your chance of winning the gift card. Thank you so much, my friends. Look, folks, our economy's gone from being on the mend to being on the move. You know, it started with my American Rescue Plan. Because of it, we had the best year of state and local job growth in 20 years. We gave governors, great governors like the one in this state, we gave them a whole lot of money. We added back 460,000 jobs, critical state and local workers, educators, firefighters, police officers. This includes a record 279,000 education jobs in 2021 because they didn't have the tax base to be able to hire them. The American Rescue Plan provided eviction relief, funding for states and cities to allocate to landlords and renters, help them keep a roof over their heads, five million households. Remember those long lines you'd see in the television? People lining up in all kinds of vehicles just to get a box of food. The national average gas price for regular unleaded gasoline is at nearly $4.42 per gallon. That is well over $1 more than this time last year. This week alone, since Monday, May 9, 2022, the price rose by nine cents. This is in spite of decreased demand, which would typically lower prices at the gas pump. In spite of the market volatility and climbing prices, President Biden announced this week that his administration is canceling the Alaskan oil and gas lease. The lease would have given companies the opportunity to drill for oil in Cook Inlet, Alaska, an area spanning 1 million acres. In a statement to CBS News, the Department of the Interior said that there was a lack of industry interest in leasing in the area. However, the decision does support President Biden's commitment to environmental sustainability, as outlined in his federal sustainability plan to reduce greenhouse gas emissions in the U.S. to 50% of 2005 levels by the year 2030. While access to this source of oil may have helped mitigate rising gas prices, it would not have provided immediate relief. Plus, it cuts off one potential avenue to reducing the U.S. dependency on foreign oil. Senate Republican Tom Cotton said, gas prices are at a record high, and Biden just canceled oil and gas leases in Alaska and the Gulf. The decision may drive gas prices even higher, but a number of other factors, including increased demand sparked by the upcoming Memorial Day holiday weekend, may also play a role. For now, the best course of action for U.S. drivers is to use an app to shop around for lower prices, being mindful that gas stations in specific locations may cost more. Pay cash to take advantage of lower pricing and top off when you see prices drop so you are never stuck with a tank close to E when gas prices are trending upward. Biden announced that the Environmental Protection Agency will allow the sale of E15 gasoline this summer. It is a gasoline that uses a 15% ethanol blend. Biden also moved to release 1 million barrels of oil per day from the Strategic Petroleum Reserve for the next six months. The president is also calling on Congress to make companies pay fees on idled oil wells and non-producing acres of federal lands, aiming to incentivize new production. Friends, the keyword for this video is zebra. 
if you would like to enter tomorrow's Walmart gift card giveaway. Please click and like several of my videos, my friends, and then comment below this keyword, which is zebra, and additional keywords of any video of mine that you watch. And do verify that you're also subscribed to my channel. Thank you so much, dear friends. After missing multiple self-imposed deadlines, Governor Gavin Newsom and legislative leaders remain at odds over how to offer relief from California's high gas prices. Selecting a state agency to oversee the program is the latest point of contention. It is a decision that could determine how quickly people receive rebates. The governor has warned against a legislative plan to leave the process to the state franchise tax board. It is the agency that distributes state-issued crisis relief checks. Instead, he has proposed hiring a third-party vendor to work with the California Department of Motor Vehicles in providing debit card payments to car owners. Though many lawmakers say that they have little confidence in that approach and that the refund should not be given strictly to drivers. With annual tax refund checks to distribute and even some crisis relief payments still unsettled, the governor said relying on the franchise tax board could delay new cash rebates until at least this coming fall. About 73,000 Californians were still waiting for checks, totaling more than $50 million to alleviate the economic burden of the crisis. And this is according to the tax board. More than 20,000 of those checks are part of the state's first round of crisis relief and should have arrived last year. To cope with rising inflation, legislative leaders unveiled the plan in mid-March to send at least $200 to taxpayers with joint tax returns, showing an adjusted income of less than $250 a year, regardless of whether they own a car. Governor Newsom followed days later with the details of his own plan to provide at least $400 to every registered vehicle owner in California, focusing on gas prices. So my friends, please let me know in the comment section below if you think President Biden is doing enough to help with inflation. Well, friends, that is the end of my daily stimulus update video. Thank you so very, very much for joining me here today. I truly and greatly appreciate all of you who are watching my videos daily. To say thank you, I'm giving away Walmart gift cards every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Sundays. To enter any of these giveaways, simply click and like several of my videos and then comment below the keyword of each video that you watch. Thank you so much, everyone, and please have a wonderful and blessed Thursday.